Good day, everyone. Hope you have a lovely day. So, with me here is a, yeah, this is a Bluetooth speaker. So, yeah, don't worry. The, the owner bring it like this. You know, people, they are trying to fix. They opened, they check every, whatever they checked. They couldn't find the result and they sent it here. This is coming from a cell phone repair guy from a local shop. So what is this with me? We have the power supply. We have the digital thing. This is some kind of a Bluetooth speaker. So you just bring these things like this. And uh, we have to fix this. Because it came in as no power. So we have the power supply. This is the switching power supply. The input here. We have two wires. Live and neutral here. That's for the input. We have the fuse. We have four diodes which are changing AC to DC. We have the big capacitor. That's the chopper. And uh, some diodes on the secondary. And we have two wires here on the output here. But it's not written uh, the kind of output this switching power supply is outputting. So... This was booked in as no power. So let's try to help the customer. Let's try to help the customer. What can be wrong here? This is the digital. We must see something here on the display. And it's plugged. Let's confirm the AC voltage. 213 volts. Here. We have some switches the first one is for power on power on we must see something here it's not doing anything so how to diagonalize something like this do you have a a we obviously we have some kind of power issue so we have to separate the fault here whether the problem is emanating from the switching power supply or from the digital board. So what I will do, I will go on the output of the switching power supply, plus and minus, 18 volts. So this power supply has got voltage on the output. So the problem Definitely, it's not the switching power supply. Fine. So, this wire is coming here. That means on these wires, on the far end here, we do have also 18. Okay. And in order to have display here, we must have a 5 volts, probably. That is standby voltage, which is always on. We do have, what is this? 7805. We have a regulator here, a linear regulator, which is outputting 5 volts. Let's check on this linear regulator. P number one, this is the input, this is the output, and this is the ground. Output zero, input zero. So on this linear regulator 7805, we don't have anything. Even the input voltage is missing. So we have a resistor here, which looks bad, like a blown up resistor on the input. We have 18 on the other side of the resistor. We have 0 0.24. Let me see if that pin of the output on the output of the resistor is going straight to pin number one of a linear regulator exactly 0, 0. Maybe you can see better under a microscope. Maybe. Let me disconnect the power here. 
So what I'm talking, we are here. You see that linear regulator? Seven eight M zero five. That's a linear regulator seven eight zero five. And check this resistor. On one side of this resistor, we have eighteen volts. On the other side, we have zero. So, what do you think about this resistor? Because in order to switch on this radio, we must have five volts. And in order to get five volts, the linear regulator. This linear regulator has to have output here. Huh? So something is not right here. Something is not right here. But this this resistor is blown up. And you can see some pin marks on the corner of this connector, some black things. So, ohms, the value of the resistor, 5 mega ohms. Hmm? I think the fault is clear. This resistor is blown up. Why? We don't know. So what I will do, I will take this resistor down. Easy. Uh, ohms. Let's check the value of this resistor. What is this saying? Saying two point three mega ohms. If the reading is fluctuating on continuity. On continuity, do you have any continuity here? No. So let's look for another resistor. Yeah, you remember the last video of the resistor with the solar charger controller? Yeah, it was a disaster. People leave a lot of comments. And now, ohms, one ohm. I think I have to take out this resistor in order to get accurate reading. 15, 10 ohms. You remember the last video? People, they said a lot, but on my side, I was wrong and I learned something. But uh, the, good, the good thing, the good thing about, about that, uh, that uh, solar co charger controller, it never came back. Never came back. Diet mode. Let's check this resistor. Let's check this resistor. Ohms. 10 ohms. You can see on the screen 10 ohms resistor. So I think I will deal with this resistor. Let's put a 10 ohms resistor there. Because the way how, how the linear regulator is working, uh, the input voltage range is, is between 7 to 35 volts. On a linear, on a 7805, like any linear regulator, 7805, 7809, 7. 
8, 12, all those kind of regulators. In most cases, the input voltage range must be around uh, 7 to 35 volts. Let's put our own resistor there. That's perfect. I will show you what I've done before we test this. I'll show you what I've done here. So this resistor which was blown up, that was a very low ohms resistor. Good. So what we have done here, we've done this. We've come with this resistor and uh, I think we can test this. Power plugged. What is this? Huh? What is this? You see? Let's press the power. Power. And it's on. You see, it's indicating. Huh? That was an easy repair. The problem, we don't have speakers here. Or we can improvise. What about using TV speakers? Huh? What about using TV speakers? Huh? We have TV speakers here. Let's see if that can give us sound. Let's connect here. That's the connector for the speakers. Power uh, on. I can hear the speakers. Let's try to disconnect. Let's connect. I'm trying to connect with my phone. Connected uh, sound. We need a proper sound. Here. It's working. You hear the sound? It's working and our regulator is quite cool. So let's check the voltage after the resistor. This is just a 10 ohms resistor. I don't think it will change 18 volts. Maybe we must have like slight change on the input 18.22, on the output 
96. There is a slight voltage drop after the resistor. Yeah, that is a, that is supposed to happen. So on the input of the regulator, we have 17.96 on the output, exactly 5.05 volts. And our Bluetooth is off, is, is, is too on. So that was the repair. And our problem was the resistor. Hmm? Resistors that are dying these days. So I'll stop this video now. Uh, like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates. And probably see you on the next game. Bye.